channel finally i know this has been long awaited the baby is officially here and the video is coming out if you're watching this it means that it's out i don't know what that was <laughs> so if you guys are new to my channel or you haven't been following along rain was pregnant she was huge she has finally given birth the father of the baby is actually Julie. so now that you guys are all caught up it's time to get into this video now even though the title of this video is called the birth vlog i have some news to break to you and i'm really hoping you guys won't be upset with me um how do i say this so as you guys know, we decided to let Rain give birth at the farm. We didn't take her to a reproduction vet or anything like that, like we did with my mare Crystal last year. So we ran the chance of possibly missing the birth, you know? And unfortunately, you guys, <laughs> don't be mad at me, please. We missed the birth, okay? I missed it. I missed the birth. But, but, before we get too upset, we missed it by like five minutes. Like five to ten minutes. So, it's not that bad. Literally, the only part we missed was the baby actually coming out. But we got there literally right after. So, I still feel okay about it. We just missed that little piece of it, which is pretty graphic. So, I don't know if some of you guys are okay with missing that specific part. But if you guys do want to see a horse give birth and you actually want to see, you know, the process of it coming out. You can check out Crystal's pregnancy video. Okay, so I ran out of memory, but I'm back. Basically, what I was saying is if you guys still wanna see a horse giving birth, I'll definitely link Crystal's birth video down below. You guys can see Journey come into this world. But I do apologize about missing Rain actually giving birth because I know it sucks. I was really hoping to vlog it for you guys and film it, but Dang, she just really came out of nowhere with this baby because she wasn't waxing up, she wasn't showing any signs, and she did it at like 11 o'clock at night. That's crazy, like I would have never thought she would do it so early. We did have the little full alert thing on her, but we would take it off every day just so that she wouldn't have to carry around that heavy cell phone. Our routine was basically turning her out in the morning after she was fed and then bringing her in at night. But obviously, <laughs> The day that she gives birth is the day that we brought her in a little bit too late, obviously. <laughs> so again, you guys, I'm really sorry. I hope you aren't too mad at me. This was one of the risks. I knew that it was a possibility that we would miss the birth, but it was something that I was okay with if it did happen. Obviously, it wasn't my plan to miss it. Like, I would have loved to have been there, but I knew that it was a possibility. You know, horses love to give birth when you're not around. Like, they literally wait for you to leave. It sucks, but I knew that with her being a seasoned broodmare, like she's had babies in the past. I knew that if we did miss it, it wouldn't be such a huge deal. It wouldn't be a big risk because she's had perfect pregnancies in the past. So it wasn't really too much of a dangerous thing. Um, Of course, there are always risks, but it was kind of like a chance that we decided to take. And I know it sucks, so I'm sorry. I know the video is called the birth vlog, but technically we missed it by like five minutes. Okay, 10 minutes. So I feel like it's still kind of like a birth vlog. You know, I didn't film the little process, but literally every single thing that happens right after they come out is all vlogged and filmed for you guys so i hope you are excited i hope you guys enjoy this video please 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 give it a big thumbs up and if you're new to my channel what's up my name is cindy valentina don't forget to subscribe if you want to you can join the little family and you won't miss any more videos now that the baby is here in the world there's gonna be a lot more videos with the baby so i hope you guys follow along so anyway before we get into the video let me just do a little let me just give a little bit more detail because the video actually starts pretty abruptly i was walking out to go and put rain in her stall for the night and as I'm looking out into the paddock I, I flash our flashlight I'm flashing it and I see like this little thing just standing and literally my heart just drops and I start screaming the baby's here the baby's here all I see is rain standing over this little thing that's also standing which is insane how fast the baby stood up and journey was actually there too he was literally just sleeping next to rain and the baby which was the cutest thing ever I was so shocked he was so chill there was literally a newborn baby baby two feet away from him and journey was knocked out taking the nap <laughs> so anyway that's how the video starts i run over to them rob grabs the phone and yeah quick little thing most of this video is filmed on a cell phone so i apologize about the quality things were just going on so fast i didn't have time to grab my camera and i just didn't want to waste any time so i hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get on into it hey guys so the baby's here i just walked out to feed them and the baby's here it's okay journey get away rain gets turned out during the day and we bring her in at night but obviously tonight we might have waited a little bit too long and i come out and there's this little baby journey's been a good boy he was literally just laying right here next to her while she gave birth and it's a girl 
<laughs> yep, she's a girl, the cutest little girl ever. I really wanted to do a gender reveal, but I said she and her so many times in this video that it would have been insane for me to try to cut all of those out. So I couldn't. I was gonna try and keep her gender a secret, but you guys, I said it way too many times, like way too many times. If I tried to cut it all out, it would be super, super choppy. The sentences wouldn't have made sense. So I hope you guys are excited to find out her gender so soon. I'm kind of bummed because I had the best gender reveal idea. It was gonna be the cutest thing ever. Dooley was gonna be a part of it. So yeah, I'm kind of bummed out about that, but it just wasn't feasible for me to just cut out all the hers and she's and baby girls, you know? <laughs> anyway, let's get back to it. Everything went well. She obviously did not need us at all. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my thermometer. I'm going to get the enema. I'm also going to spray the umbilical cord. I'm also gonna check on Rain because her placenta hasn't dropped yet. She should deliver it within a few hours. If not, we will have to call the vet, but it's all good. You did great, mama, all by yourself. Good job. She already cleaned the baby. She's been and licking the baby, doing everything. I'm gonna go ahead and put Journey away because he's already being a little bit annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna put him away, grab a towel just to dry the baby off a little bit. And yeah, let's go grab everything we need. You guys, this is crazy. We missed the birth, but it's here and everything went well. And the baby already stood up. She was already standing when I walked out here. Hi baby, welcome to the world. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm running back home. I'm grabbing everything we need. This is crazy. It's only like 11 o'clock. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a towel. Okay, a towel. Oh, I'm all over the place. I can't believe this is happening. Okay, I got the towel. I have the enema here and the baby bottle thermometer. And we have the clamp. All right, let's go take care of this baby. You guys, I cannot believe we missed the birth. She showed zero signs. Like literally, she has not waxed up at all. I checked her like two hours ago. She was not even waxing up. So I can't believe it. <laughs> This is crazy. Hi, mama. How are you doing? How's that baby doing? You're doing such a good job. So she still has the placenta and everything. Is the umbilical cord still connected? Okay, it's not. So I'm going to go ahead and spray the baby. I'm going to dry her off a little bit. You did so good, Rainy girl. You did. She did such a good job. I know. It's too much dust. So this actually helps stimulate the baby and make sure that it's breathing well. Everything looks good. You guys, it's a bay. <laughs> What a surprise, huh? No color at all, mama. But that's okay. That's okay. I know. Oh, oh, that was nice and dry. Make sure we got all of that. I know, I know. Good girl. Okay, now we're gonna spray the umbilical cord. Make sure it's all good. It sucks that she had it out here in the paddock just because there is so much sand. So I'm a little bit worried about that. Let me just spray you. I cannot see what I'm spraying. Okay. Hi, I know you wanna eat. You gotta get up to eat. Okay, there you go. Got it, you got it. Alright, you guys, so we're gonna give Rain some banamine just for any cramps or discomfort she might be feeling right now. Good girl, mama. She's doing great, you guys. She's licking her baby. Alright, Rainy girl. Still have that placenta, which is worrying me. But it's okay, I know. I know. Okay, I know, mama. That's good for you. Right. I'm actually gonna check rain just because she still has everything hanging and I usually I think it would have been delivered by now I also want to check the baby's temperature really quick with my handy dandy thermometer. All right, so we're taking her temperature. It's taking a while 99 it's pretty good not a fever. I'm gonna go ahead and give the baby the enema now Hi. Make sure that she poops. Hi, mama girl. You did so good with that baby all by yourself. Huh? You're so good. Alright baby, I know this sucks, but this will help you get that first poop out. Oh, it fell. Perfect. What? The placenta came Perfect. Out. Good girl, Rainy. Alright, so I gave her the enema. We're gonna wait and see when she poops. Um, Her temperature was 99, which is pretty good. She's up and walking. Rain just dropped her placenta, and I think I'm gonna put her placenta in this bucket, just in case we need to check it, make sure everything looks good. So long as it's... Hi, baby. So what do you need from me, girl? I'm trying to get things ready. She's 
already suckling, which is a good sign. I'm gonna walk the baby over to the stall. Yay! The poop is coming. There it is, the first poopy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and walk the baby over to the stall just because the paddock is not baby proof. There's a bunch of weeds in go here that I don't want her to get stung with. It's gonna be bad if she gets stung with this stuff. All right, you guys, I'm gonna take a little pause just to help get this baby in the stall and then I'll pick up the camera again. Eventually. All right, you guys, I am completely out of breath, but the baby's finally in the stall away from all those prickly little plants. Oh my God, I'm really out of shape. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. Hi, rainy girl. You did so good. Look at that baby. She looks like Journey. Hi, baby. <laughs> Rain did such a good job, you guys. The baby has been pooping, which is a good sign. She's so cute. She was actually trying to buck while I was moving her. Um, I'm like disgusting. I don't know if you guys can tell, but she's a feisty one. She hasn't nursed yet, but she's finding her way actually right now. I hate that there's these poles in this stall. Let me move Rain a little bit closer to the center of the stall so the baby can actually have space. Come here, Rainy. She's doing it. Almost there, baby. Look at her. <laughs> All right, so I gave Rain some hay and moved her closer to the center of the stall. And the baby's finding her way. Almost there. Yes, good girl. There you go. Oh, you were almost there. What happened? Now I'm going to go ahead and clean her stall a little bit and just put down some fresh shavings so they can relax and chill and we'll leave them alone. Good. She is so cute. I love her. She has a little personality already. Kind of feisty. She's not scared of anything. Look at her. Rain is being the best mom ever. She still hasn't found her udder, so she hasn't nursed yet. So I'm going to grab the baby bottle and just kind of milk Rain a little bit just so we have some just in case the baby doesn't get to nurse. I want to make sure she gets that colostrum in. So yeah, look at her. She's trying to eat me. I don't have the milk. Look at her. She's so cute. Oh, 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 careful. Oof, those hooves are strong. You just stepped on me. I, I, I. I get so nervous watching them trying to walk. <laughs> you got it, baby girl. You got it. You'll find it. You'll find it. She's so cute. I feel like she grew already. <laughs> you have to stand still, Rain. Let her find your milk. So it's been quite a while. She is up and walking, but she hasn't nursed yet. So I'm going to milk Rain just a little bit to make sure I do have some colostrum on hand. Just so that I have some backup if we're getting close to those eight hours and she hasn't nursed. As you guys know, it's really important to get that colostrum in as soon as possible. So I'm going to milk Rain. Hopefully she lets me. Let's see. Will you let me milk you, girl? Oh, why are you moving away from her? I think the dogs are making her nervous. A few moments later. So I'm actually going to put the dogs inside the house just because they're obsessed with the baby and it's making Rain not nervous because she seems fine with it, but she is kind of more cautious and protective and, you know, she's moving around a lot just to keep an eye on the dogs. I want to put them away just so that she doesn't have to think about that and that hopefully she'll stay still long enough for the baby to actually nurse. So we're going to put them in right now, even though they're obsessed with the baby. <laughs> right, guys? Nike, isn't that a cute baby? Oh my gosh. Hello. Good girl. Come on, inside. Inside. Good babies. Okay, bye. Alrighty, we're back. The dogs are put away and Rain is doing great. She's just eating some hay. So you guys are so cute. Oh, oh. Don't poop on your mama's hay. We ended up not even using the straw, but <laughs> it's fine. Rain just did it without us. I'm gonna go ahead and hopefully milk Rain if she lets me and give this baby a little bottle. If you wanna find it, you can find it. Maybe you're look better. Yes, that's even better. She's stepping on my shoe, but it's okay. She's almost there. You almost got it. You got it, you can get it, you can get it, you can get it. Oh, Got it, baby. Oh, she's so close. This is how much milk I got so far. But if she can find the udder, that's preferable. You almost got it, baby. You were right there. Your lips were on it. Why didn't you suck? She's coming back. Okay. It's taking quite a while, but we're getting there. You got something. Whenever she gets closer, I want to get out of the way. So just let me know when she's... Oh, she's going. She's so close. This is how much milk I've gotten so far. She gets so close, but oh my gosh, she's almost there. Almost there, almost there. Oh, you guys, this is like so stressful. <laughs> it's crazy because she's literally so close, but then she kind of just goes somewhere else. So it's like mm, right there, <laughs> just get it. I'm just going to try and milk her every time the baby kind of takes the lap around because I don't want to be in the way if the baby's trying to find 
in the nipple, you know what I mean? So I'm just keeping my distance. He's doing her thing. But this is how much I've got so far. My hand's already cramping up. I know, mama. You're like, what's going on? Why'd she take him so long? Oh, the love. The love. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, I'm stepping in. Ashley's walking away. I feel like she knows that I'm like in an important spot. Like this is where the good stuff might be. Because every time I go to nurse, the baby kind of follows me. I mean, go to milk. She's <laughs> coming behind you. I don't want to get out of her way. Okay, she's coming soon. She keeps going around. <laughs> oh, my hand is sore. Eventually. You guys, she did it. She did it. She's right there. She's getting the hint. She's getting it. She's getting it. Oh, you're so close, baby. I think because I milked her, there was a little bit of milk on the tip, and that's how she kind of found the spot. All right, you guys. So this is all I've been able to get. I kind of want to leave them alone, let them bond. So I'm just going to give the baby this much. She's already pretty close. She's going to find it within the hour. So we're just going to leave them alone and watch them through the camera. But I just want to make sure she gets a little bit of colostrum in before we do. So I'm going to grab the little nipple, and I'm going to cut it so that the hole's a little bit bigger. And then we'll give her the bottle. I don't have scissors on hand, but I think I might need scissors, actually. I made the nipple a little bit bigger. I'm gonna put the bottle together. All right, let's give this baby a bottle. Are you drinking? I don't want to interrupt you. I also want to give her the kickstart, and I want to make sure she nurses. There you go. That's it, you guys. It's official. She did it. She let go, but she did it. There you go. Congratulations, baby. Good girl. Okay, so the baby's nursing. I don't want to interrupt. I don't want to waste this either. So once she stops, I'm going to give her the bottle because I also want to give her the full kickstart. We're going to give her half of this right now and then in eight hours, we'll do the other half and then we'll be done. We'll head inside and leave them alone for the night. We can watch them in the camera, but it finally happened, you guys. The baby's here. How crazy. She did such a good job. She knew exactly what she was doing. A seasoned little mama over here. I also want to make sure to check her temperature make sure that everything's good. She delivered her placenta perfectly fine. And yeah, so everything has gone according to plan. Such a good mama. You are done. Time to sleep. Are you already asleep? Are you already asleep? Oh, you guys, I'm in love with her. Are you so cute? Girl. You are. Oh my goodness, so fluffy, fluffy. So sweet. Okay. I'm gonna leave this. She's full. She nursed enough from her mama, so she's not even drinking this. But I'll hold on to it just in case I can give her some in the morning. She has her kickstart. We took her temperature. We sprayed the umbilical. Oh, I wanna spray it one more time before we head inside. She's already sleepy. She must be so tired. Let me see if I can find that umbilical cord again. I was sprayed. She got the enema. She got her vitamins. And I think we're good, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and check Rain's temperature. And we're just gonna leave them alone for the rest of the night so that they can bond, they can rest. And yeah, we'll see them in the morning. We'll check on you in the morning, pretty girl. It's okay. You're a good girl. I know. There's sand everywhere. That was not a good spot to give birth, mama. It was our fault. We didn't bring you in the cell. I would have never thought she would have done it at 11. Like, but that's so early, huh? Gosh, this thermometer takes forever. I, I passed it again. Okay, so it's 98.6. It's a little low, but at least she She's not running like a high fever. I'm gonna check it again in the morning just to be sure. So now I'm gonna say good night to everybody. Good night, little baby. Good night. Alrighty. Good night, Rainy girl. Such a good job you did. All right, you guys, that is it. The baby has officially arrived and everyone is doing great. Everyone's healthy. Now I'm gonna go inside and sleep and we'll see them in the morning. All right, you guys, that is it. You have officially seen Rain's baby. Isn't she the cutest thing ever? Like you guys, she is so cute. I know that she's not a paint and a lot of you guys were hoping for a paint. I know. I was literally positive it would be a paint. So it was definitely really shocking to see that she wasn't a paint, but she's still perfect. We love her so much. And she's gonna be a beautiful horse regardless. Rain did such an amazing job. She did it all by herself. And thank God everything went smoothly. There were no complications. 
I don't know if I was able to show this in the video, but she actually has one little white sock on her, I think it's her back right leg. It's the cutest thing. So she does have a little color. I know it's a little bit, but it's there. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys aren't too disappointed about her coat color. We're just happy that we have a beautiful, healthy baby. I am so in love with her, you guys. She's so cute. She's so feisty. It's been a few days since she was born. So her personality has kind of come out a lot more. And I know in this video, I said she was feisty literally like an hour after she was born. Boy, that was an understatement. She is wild, <laughs> but it just makes her that much more adorable. She's too cute. She loves to pin her ears. She has a little habit. You guys will see in my upcoming videos, but she's super cute. Rain is such a great mom. She's been amazing. The baby has been nursing great. And I don't know if you guys can tell in this video, you will probably see in the next video, which is going to be the next morning. That's when our vet comes over to check her over to do the blood work. You guys will see that her legs are all wonky. If you guys remember Journey's back legs were super bent as well and hers are actually doing the opposite. They're actually bending forward. I don't want to get all the way into it just because this video is going to be super long and you're going to see all of that in the next one. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you have your post notifications turned on. If you like this video, please, please, please give it a big thumbs up to welcome this new little baby into the world. And yeah, here is my notification shout out. If you guys want to be shouted out in my next video, all you have to do is just click that notification bell down below and then leave me a comment letting me know that you've done it and that is it you might be shouted out so what's up with me being like a rapper today i don't know i've done so many hand gestures i might be in the dancing mood maybe i'm just excited about this video maybe i'm excited for you guys to finally meet this baby anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video stay tuned for the next one where she gets her first checkup ever and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye